Hi y'all, it's me. I'm back to do the drawing for this week's challenge that's held over at www.myscraproom.ning.com. For those who are not familiar uh, with my Ning site or my challenge, you can come check it out. I'll put the link in the description box below for you. Um, I do a challenge every Sunday and um, it runs for one week and if you are an active member for one month, you are then able to participate in the challenges. So come on over and join us. If you'd like to see this week's challenges, there's a link on the home page there and you can check out those, uh, what the ladies did. They all were very creative with what they had to work with. And um, this week's challenge was, uh, they had to make either a card or a 12 by 12 layout. And it was called either or. So they had to use either a doily or a die cut trim or seam binding, glitter or bling, bottle caps or pull tabs, gift wrap paper or bubble wrap, or ink or paint. That was their things they had to work with. And there were some other things they couldn't use and blah, blah, blah. So you can see all of that over there. But it was really fun to give them this challenge and see what they would come up with and they did some really unique things there so go check them out and ladies you all did great thank you so much for your participation as always and um let me scoot this over this is um week's prize was given donated by one of our members nika hey nika thank you girl for your donation and this is what she's giving it's a six by six echo park this and that charming pad it's a ki memories birthday stamp Cuddlebug dies, making memories, word medals, rhinestones, satin trim, and pearl trim. And what a great prize. Thank you so much, Nika. It's really um, nice when our members step up and help out every once in a while. So I appreciate it. Um, I had 10 entries. And for those of you um, who don't know how the challenge works, I don't pick a winner by who did the best or any of that because it's not about who does the best or who comes up with the most creative idea. It's about pushing each of us to go outside of our comfort zone a little bit and try to think outside of the box, if you will. So anyway, I had 10 participants this week. So everyone's name is here and I will go ahead and randomly pick a winner. As I always say it, I wish all of you could win. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm pooped. <laughs> I'm trying to do this fast and I'm running out of steam. I just walked in the door. I had to go drive mom home and I left at six this morning and I just walked in the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get this challenge done. Everybody's waiting on me. So I don't even have the next challenge prepared yet, but I have an idea. So I'll pull something together. <laughs> Last minute. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The people are flying out of my bowl here. Okay. So here is this week's winner. And it will be Sandra. Woohoo! Way to go, Sandra. Congratulations. Please send me your address and I will be sure that your prize gets out to you <coughs> as soon as possible. Way to go. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. Please try the next challenge. Excuse me, I'm choking over here. Let me um, kind of show you what this next challenge is going to be. I don't know the details about it yet because I need a minute to get my head together. I should have had this ready yesterday, but I was really busy yesterday. And as much as I tried to get around to it, I just couldn't. So, um, okay, this is what we're going to do. I went through, okay, first let me show you the prize and then maybe the challenge will make sense. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm so unorganized at the minute. Okay, so the prize for this next challenge will be this set of stamps here really cute they're by um sandy lion and oh my gosh i love the little boy blowing the the little pinwheel there it's so darling and there's a little pinwheel right here too robot train blah 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 and then there's another stamp set which is from cloud nine with a lot of sentiments about boys and then there's a whole spool of this trim which is heart shaped trim and I don't 
I don't really want to tear it open, but okay, can you see their hearts? <laughs> they, they're really cute. So you're going to get that, and you're going to get one other thing that I don't have ready yet. Um, and believe me, this is like, I'm even not sure if I want to do it, but I, I think I will. Because this is in my hoard vault, and it's been there for quite some time. But I think I will share with you. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a... Um, cut out a, a mini book or something and cover it with the paper for you but this will be the paper I'm using and oh my gosh I love this paper it's in my hoard vault and I'm breaking it out just for you <laughs> it's a little boy theme oh and it's lovely I have to share it with you here let me go this way where the light is better this paper is gorgeous I mean um, Anna Griffith paper is so stunningly beautiful and this one is velvet images on it. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, I love it. So um, and this one's velvet too. So pretty. And uh, the papers are stunning. I mean, yeah, this one's embossed. Really pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this paper. So I'll cover a chipboard mini or something for this. If I don't do that, I will give you the paper and the chipboard to do it yourself. So I just have to breathe before I cut that paper. It's so pretty. <laughs> so, okay. So now, since we're doing this boy-themed giveaway, I found this picture on the internet. And I want you to recreate it. I'm not sure the details yet, so give me a minute to think all that through. Um, but I'm going to show this to you and no, I don't have a template for it, but I think if you look at it, you can pretty much get the shape of it and cut it out yourself. It looks fairly simple to do. Um, and I would like it to be a card. So that's what I'm looking at. I found this on Amy Salona's blog. Who, I don't know who she is. I just was looking around and I happened to find it. So that's what's the challenge going to be. Um, as I said, I'll give you details about this as soon as I have a chance to work them out. So if you are an active member and you want to participate, that's what you got in front of you to do. And the prize is there. So again, I want to congratulate Sandra. Thank you all for participating in the challenge. And thank you to all of you for bearing with me in this very long video that I rambled in. <laughs> See y'all later at my scrap room. Bye.